Okay guys, so let's have a discussion of the next step after glycolysis. So, ulitin ko lang, uh, I am discussing to you uh, the process of cellular respiration which involves three, ayan, tatlo na um, processes which are glycolysis, um, Krebs cycle, and then our electron transport chain. But we have to have a short segue doon sa ating discussion because this is an intermediate um, process in between um, glycolysis and our Krebs cycle. That's why this is what we call as the preparatory stage. Okay, so preparatory stage ang ating tawag dito sa pyruvate oxidation natin. Okay, so what is pyruvate oxidation, guys? So, it is relatively short in comparison with the extensive pathways of glycolysis or citric acid cycle. Okay, but mas maikli siya, but it doesn't necessarily mean na uh, unimportant ito because dito sa process na ito, uh, pyruvate oxidation happens. So, when we say oxidation, this is the losing of electrons. Pyruvate is going to lose electrons. So, ito yung electrons na gagamitin natin hanggang sa electron transport chain. Okay? So, in the process of pyruvate oxidation or yung ating, uh, yeah, ang ating pyruvate oxidation, it will be connecting your glycolysis with that of your Krebs cycle or the citric acid cycle. Okay? Para mabuo ang ating cellular respiration. So, saan nangyayari ito? So, in eukaryotes, it happens in the matrix. Ayan. The innermost of the mitochondria. At sa prokaryotes naman, it happens in the cytoplasm. Kasi sa prokaryotes, wala naman silang mitochondria. So, overall, what happens in our pyruvate oxidation is that we are going to convert pyruvate. Okay? And pyruvate is a three-carbon molecule. Okay, and mapupunta siya at magiging acetyl-CoA. So, ang acetyl, it is composed of only two. Ayan, two carbon lang siya with an attached coenzyme A. Ayan. So, it produces an NADH. So, may nabubuo tayong NADH dito. And aside from forming NADH, makakapag-release din tayo ng carbon dioxide dito. So, we only release one carbon dioxide. But since we have two, meron tayong dalawa na pyruvate na nabuo sa glycolysis. Dalawang, process, dalawang beses din ito. Therefore, we are going to produce what, two NADH and then two carbon dioxide kapag yung dalawang pyruvate, ang nag-undergo ng pyruvate oxidation. So, acetyl-CoA will act as a fuel of the citric acid cycle na next step ng ating um, cellular respiration. So, paano nga natatransform into, from pyruvate into acetyl-CoA ang ating, uh, during the pyruvate oxidation, ang ating pyruvate. So, let's take a look. So, simple lang yung process na nangyayari. So, we have here our pyruvate. So, it, it is composed of three molecules. And then, ito yung magiging itsura niya after it it proceeds with pyruvate oxidation. So, this is acetyl. It's two carbon molecule attached with a coenzyme A. So, aside from those, makakabuo tayo ng carbon dioxide. So, na yung isang carbon doon, magiging carbon dioxide, kaya dadalawa na lang to And then, we have a formation of NADH from NAD+. Saan galing yon Because of the removal of electron from pyruvate. And then, attracts NAD+, plus to have another hydrogen molecule. Aside from that, we have the attachment of coenzyme A. Ayan. So, here's the step-by-step -step process. We have one, two, three. Okay? So, step one. What, what happens? A carboxyl group is nipped off pyruvate. So, anong nangyayari? Yung three molecule natin na pyruvate, matatanggal yung isa. Okay? And it will become carbon dioxide. Okay? At magiging dalawang carbon na lang ito, which is what we call as our acetyl. Step 2. The two carbon molecule from step 1 is going to be oxidized. Pag sinabi natin oxidize, it will lose an electron. So, yung electron na yun, it is going to be picked up by NAD+. Kaya nga electron carrier ito. And then, it will form to NAD+. H. And lastly, uh, so yan yung itsura yung nangyayari. From the two, 
magre-release siya ng electron. Si NAD plus magiging NAD H and then H plus. Nandun lang yun sa ating matrix. So, acetyl. And then, step 3, the oxidized two carbon molecule and acetyl group will be attached with coenzyme A, an organic molecule derived from vitamin B in order to form acetyl CoA. So, it is sometimes called a carrier molecule and its job here is to carry the acetyl group o yung dalawang um, carbon ay carbon uh, atoms na yun papunta sa citric acid cycle. So, dalawa added with coenzyme A. Ayan, matatanggal yun. And there we have it, acetyl CoA. So, the steps above are carried out by a large enzyme we call as pyruvate dehydrogenase. So, kung sa glycolysis, bawat step ay mayroong process. Dito, one man show ang ating ang ating pyruvate dehydrogenase. Siya na ang gumagawa ng lahat ng iyon. It consists of series of 60 subunits and it is very important for regulation as it controls the amount of acetyl-CoA na papasok sa ating citric acid cycle. So, again, we have two pyruvates. Two molecules of pyruvate are converted into acetyl-CoA. Therefore, we release two carbon dioxide galing doon sa dal anim nga nalang galing sa glucose and two NADH from two NAD plus. Okay, so that's it guys for our um, pyruvate oxidation.